Thank you very much <coughs> for that. The other big one will be ITC. Uh, the street is anticipating a soft quarter from ITC. The stock has done very well through whole of 2023 and even the start of 2024 has been good. Manglam joins in with the expectations. Manglam. Well, for ITC, it's a mixed quarter, which is expected, and that's largely because the street doesn't expect too much from the cigarette volume standpoint. There is some recovery that will continue in the FMCG business and the hotels business, but some weakness is expected in the paper business. So, you know, to sum it all up, what is it that the street is anticipating? Zero to two percent cigarette volume growth, eight to ten percent growth in the FMCG volumes, twelve to fifteen percent jump in hotel revenues. That sector has been doing well. Eight to ten percent growth in the agricultural business, and this, of course, comes in from a low base because the same time last year there was a ban on wheat exports which was announced and 5 to 10 percent decline in paper revenue largely led by realizations all of that put together would mean an overall revenue growth of 5 percent x excise a little over 17,000 crores the EBITDA grows just around three and a half odd percent that means the margins are stable around 37.7 percent and the net profit also grows just about 2%. The street is working with a number of 5130 crores on the bottom line. Of course, important to watch will be the way the cigarette business performs. Uh, revenue growth is seen around 5 to 7%, whereas volume growth is 0 to 2%. We'll also keep an eye out on how the commentary pans out for FMCG margins and the hotel business and any update on the hotel business demerger. Thank you very much for that. Get into a break. On the other side, we'll be joined by K. Srinivasan, Managing Director of Kirloskar Pneumatic, to talk about their Q3 numbers. Stay tuned.